Hey folks, Mark Johnson, Tech Snobs. We're going to show you how to use the OneDrive app on various phones here just to show you how you can set up the automatic photo backup, which is a very, very useful feature. Uh, people love this feature. I love it. It helps you save your photos very effortlessly, and we're going to jump right into it. Now, I'm using a Windows phone in the first case here, and it's a little bit more. You got a, a few more steps on Windows phone, but nonetheless, you click on Photos. We're going to click on the little menu button here at the bottom. Go to settings. I'm going to scroll down and you're going to notice that the auto uploads turned on for OneDrive, but typically it's not. So once we go in here, you have three options. You got don't upload, good quality, which may use your data, and then you have best quality that you know will require Wi-Fi. Uh, the, for the videos, it always needs Wi-Fi, so you know that's just the way it's you know just the way it is. Uh, but once we go back out, we're going to launch the OneDrive app. And once we get into OneDrive, uh, you'll actually be able to, once you go to Photos, you'll be able to see the photos that automatically uploaded. You'll see a timestamp on it. Uh, you can also view these photos from the web, and there's really not much else you have to do. Um, you just jump in there. They'll automatically upload. If you go to the main menu button, and then we go down here to Progress, you can see the progress of anything that's downloading or uploading. And then once we go back and we click on Settings, um, you can see a little bit more info about your account and options and so forth. But that's pretty much it for the uh, the Windows phone. Next thing we're going to jump into is the uh, Android. Now, this is a Galaxy S5. Uh, for this phone, you know, once again, you open up OneDrive, you see pictures, um, and it's going to load that right up. It's camera roll. Click on that. Cool thing about the Android and, and the S5. As soon as you jump in there, it automatically has an option to turn it on. It's automatically going to prompt you. Uh, even if you weren't, you know, to do that, if you go in, click Photos, it will bring you here. Actually, let's go to Settings here at the bottom. There's also another option for Camera Backup, which you could turn on through the menu. And that's pretty much it. Once you cut it on, it'll automatically back it up. I also noticed on, on the Android, when I set it up initially, it would prompt you uh, and, and say, hey, if you turn on auto backup, you'll get three gigs of storage, which will bring your total to uh, 18 gigs. So that's a very helpful feature. Now, also, I'm going to show you the same thing on the iPhone. The iPhone and Android apps are very, very similar. Uh, they're, they've been updated a lot more recently, but if you hit the same menu button, same look and feel for the most part. Uh, you go down here to settings, you see the camera backup. You know, if I flip that on, it will turn on. Uh, which I won't do right now, but then once we go into pictures and I click on camera roll, uh, it typically actually, I'll hit photos down here at the bottom. If I jump from files to photos, it's automatically going to give me that prompt uh, to use the camera backup as well. So, great feature, automatically back up your photos and videos so you don't have to worry about, you know, which phone they're on or all this other kind of stuff or. Even if you had a phone and you got a new one, it's it's a lot easier just to have them automatically back up. And when you get a new device, you have all your stuff right there. So a lot of apps out there will do this. This is OneDrive, Microsoft OneDrive. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care.